happy Sunday morning. I uh, just wanted to get on here and tell you and encourage you. You know, there are things that we you may be going through right now that um, God is just waiting on you. And uh, God's waiting uh, for you to be ready or for you to ask. The word says, ask and you shall receive. And so, you know, there's things that God wants to show you through his word that we can agree upon within his promises and how he uh, brings hope and healing and restores us um, in the things that, that he needs us to be in for his kingdom's sake. And so God loves you. He hasn't forgotten about you. So I just want to make a couple of statements here. You know, one really with the idea is that, you know, pain is inevitable, but misery is optional. You're going to go through some painful things in your life, but pain is not necessarily going to be your fault. There are things that you may get involved in that you, you know, didn't know about or, you know, uh, didn't understand and, and got caught up. But but uh, the pain that you're going through right now um, is is not going to be necessarily just something that's going to be your fault. God can use that, though, and God wants to use it to help you be healed. And so, you know, pain is not your fault uh, necessarily, but healing is your responsibility. God does want to heal you, and we can participate in faith. With faith, uh, God can take us into a wholeness, a healing, a provision that only God can do for us. And so God, as, he, as he's your Father, he wants you to rely on him, and he's given us his Holy Spirit to help us be made whole and healed. Uh, you know, the word healing, if you look at the deep, the deep root of that word, it means salvation. And so he wants to save you today. And so I don't know what your struggle is, but God does. And I want to encourage you to get to a house of worship. And, you know, at that time, uh, you know, when they they invite you to come and pray, uh, believe that the power of the Holy Spirit's there in that place and, and, and receive the work of the Holy Spirit and be ready. Be made ready before you get there, hoping and expecting a move of God to touch you right where you're at, to heal you, to make you whole, and understand that with that, when you receive that wholeness and healing, there's a responsibility. Don't just go and do what you want to do, but uh, but declare God's glory. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice because he is worthy of your praise. And, and he wants you to understand that as you establish that relationship with him, uh, things are only going to get better from there. So God bless you this Sunday. Get to a house of worship. Uh, wherever you're at, uh, the God wants uh, God wants to not just see you with His people. He wants you to begin to interact and become assembled by His right hand, so that we can we can help people find uh, this wholeness and this healing and and overcome the pains of this life, overcome the afflictions and the suffering, uh, and uh, and learn to endure and persevere uh, with great expectation, because Jesus is. He's coming soon, and uh, he has a plan and purpose, not just for when he comes, but for eternity's sake, for those that believe. God bless you, and have a wonderful Sunday.